join me as we discuss the challenges of customers, the good, the bad and the ugly. G'day YouTubers, Jeff McFee's Gardening, Melbourne, Australia. They say in business, a bad word will go around seven times faster than a good word. In today's video, I want to discuss about the good, the bad and the ugly customers, what it does to our business and what measures we can take to rectify it. In my last video, I talked about how businesses fail, how they struggle, and I mentioned quite a few items, but I really forgot one of the most important ones is customers, the bad and the, the ugly customers, and the good ones, of course. How, how big of an impact that has on your business. We have challenges with these type of customers, and today I want to talk about how we identify them and, and how we're going to deal with them because it's so important. I've seen businesses fail. I've seen businesses fold up because the ugly customers has just got to them and they just couldn't take it anymore. It's important that we identify these customers because we're going to use this information during our journey. Because if we make the wrong decision, we had the wrong customers, our business could suffer. Now the good customer, they're the ones that we're going to use as our base that's gonna set the standard of our customer, the good customer. I was fortunate. My first customer was a good customer. You know those ones. Pay on time, appreciate our work. Give us continuity of work. Don't, don't organize, uh, no, no worries about schedules. You rock up you know, when you can and do the work and because you'll do that 110% extra for them because of good people because they really, really appreciate your work. They're so happy to have you and they want you for life. Well, that very first customer, believe it or not, after nearly four decades, I've still got that same customer over all those years. And that should have been my starting point in my early days to make sure I got that type of customer. But no, I didn't because I was desperate to build the business to get the cash flow going, to put food on the table. I took on any type of work any type of work to, to just to get the, the cash flowing going. Now, the bad customers, they're the ones that uh, can cause us grief. We know the bad customers, the ones that don't pay on time, the ones that'll leave the gate locked, rubbish on the lawn, they'll have the car parked on the lawn, they'll ring up and cancel, they'll reschedule, they'll do all these things to annoy you, and it does make it hard. And of course, the worst customer, I believe, is the ugly customer. The ugly customer that actually defames you. You know the ones you'll see on Facebook or any of the media outlets. They'll complain about the gardener or at this business. I've seen businesses ruined because of Facebook, because of the complaints that they put up on it. You'll have a cow and she'll get up there and say, oh, I got Jeff's mowing to do the lawn. And when he finished the lawn, he expected payment, but I wasn't gonna pay because he never weeded the garden beds. Well, Jeff never quoted for the weeding of the garden bed, he only quoted for the lawns. And because you're being given a bad uh, review on Facebook, even though the normal person would understand, you still got that black mark against you. Remember, a bad word seven times faster than a good word. And even when you do a really good job, it's gonna take a long time to get recognised. Whereas you make one slip up as bad or the customer perceives you doing a bad job, that's gonna spread quickly. And this media today is pretty dangerous. Like we were lucky in our day because it was all printed media, it wasn't as bad. But now the accountability of these medias, these Facebooks, you just have to be so careful if you do use it. Use it very carefully because it can ruin you. And of course, the ugly customer, the nasty ones that, that not satisfied with the work that you've done, or don't pay, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll say, no, you didn't do everything I asked you to do. Clear lack of communication between the two, but they're just pure nasty people, and you've got to get out. It's just, there's no excuse for that type of customer. So how do we deal with these customers? The bad customer, I know a lot of people would say, that's it, I'm going to flick. Well, you, you can't flick all your customers because if you only got a couple of good ones, you're not going to make a living. So I believe, and I've, I've, I've done it, that you can actually retrain a bad customer. You can bring a percentage of them over to your side. What I mean is 
schedule. You, you tell them, listen, this is I'm running a business. I can only be there at a certain time, at certain days of the week. And you know, and once you, they understand that you're a business, you'll start winning them over. If they're slow paying, ask for payments up front. Ask for a prepayment prior to the visit if, if they continually bad pays. Well, just tell them, listen, I need, I'm, I'm running a business. You know, you walk into Coles, I've got to pay for my groceries. I, I don't have to wait. I, they're not going to wait days before I pay them. So you've got to give them that clear expectation that I want to be paid at completion of the job. Simple terms. Detail those terms. Leaving the gates locked. You know, get keys to the gate. Cleaning up. Just tell them, listen, if you're going to continue to do that, I'm going to have to charge a fee to pick all that stuff up. You'll eventually train them. Not all of them, but you'll get a lot of them across. So I've made a lot of bad customers good customers. Unfortunately, with the ugly customers, I believe there's nothing you can do. you just got to get rid of them because if you don't, it's going to bring your business down. I know of businesses that have actually stopped trading because of ugly customers. They were just sick of not getting paid, continually hassled by that customer. There's no way out. You've got to drop them, as simple as that. Now, I know a lot of guys and girls, well, I don't know so many girls, but I know a lot of guys, if they don't get paid on time, they'll dump the grass on the driveway. Or if they don't pay, or if they cause grief to the contractor, they'll uh, sketch a male's anatomy in the front lawn using Roundup. And 10 days later, the surprise is revealed. Look, it's funny. But it's unprofessional. We really shouldn't do that. Young guys, I know, and when I was young, you're hot-headed. You're not going to take that rubbish. There's other people watching you, so you've got to be professional. It's like the old situation. Walk away from the fight. It's no good. No one's going to win at the end of the day. So it's important that you understand that being professional makes you look good. Now, I haven't done that type of thing, but there was an incident one day where I had a rubbish job. I quoted the guy 150 and he said, no worries. So I loaded it on the trailer and he's coming out. And I thought he was going to pay me. He said, no, um, the missus will pay you. I've got to go down the street. So I thought, oh, here we go. Knock on the door. The wife answers the uh, door and says, uh, yes. And I said, um, your husband said you were going to pay. Oh, I'm not paying. And I said, well, someone's got to pay. And she said, don't look at me. Fine. Went back to the trailer, unloaded it and put it back on the lawn. As soon as I finished... She comes around, I'll pay, I'll pay. Well, she, uh, I said, well, it's going to cost you extra. Well, why? Because I've got to reload it on. So she agreed. <laughs> Believe it or not, she paid me the extra. Look, I felt pretty good about it. Yeah, I probably could have done a little few things differently, I guess, prepayment maybe, because uh, they were one-off customers. Perhaps that's what I should have done. But at the end of the day, I think being professional is important. So consider the three types of customers and, and use it wisely because it, it will affect your business if you, if you don't do it right. Having a, a book full of good customers, using that as a base, and you'll do pretty well. All right, viewers, it's uh, 1st of October. Shorts are on, grass is growing, weather's looking great. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and uh, I'd love to hear your comments on your good and bad and ugly customers. I reckon there'll be some great stories out there. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.